going on guys? Two Wheel Menace here in a fucking cage. Chilling around in my uh, 2012 Jeep Wrangler, it's a two door with no back seat. And uh, as you can see, it's snowing. Which is pretty awesome. It's about time. This weather's been, you know, be, we've been being teased about this weather for a while. So now it's finally snowing. Which I actually do kind of like the snow. I don't like it when, you know, I can't really see it. But I do like the snow. Uh, I know I said I would do a walk around, a Jeep walk around. So I'll do that soon. But not right now since it's you know snowing outside and I got my I'm using my skeleton case. So everybody knows. It's got uh, 25,290 miles on it. I just went and got an oil change done on it, so now I'm running full synthetic finally. And uh, when I took it to a dealership, because I take it to the dealership for all engine stuff so that way you know all warranty paperwork is there so that they can't say oh I messed it up or whatnot but um I took it to the dealership and they tested my differential fluids and all they told me were the fluid in the rear is dark like no shit Sherlock differential fluid changes color after time so I have all this stuff for, I'm, ch I'm gonna change on my rear do fluid anyways, because it's, the last time I changed it was 4th of July, two years ago. Uh, by the way, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I'll try and put this video up as soon as possible. Uh, so if it's after Thanksgiving, then hopefully y'all had a good Thanksgiving, didn't burn down your houses. I, for one, am actually having uh, am deep frying a turkey. And what the hell is going on here? Is the, is the truck is hanging out? I don't know why this light didn't want to give us a turn signal. But oh look, a, what did I say? An accident. There's lights over there. Of course, it's an accident. It's like I said, nobody knows how to drive in the snow, or the rain here, or anywhere here. Period. From well during the off season I'll just leave it on this channel and uh, I'll continue to have Jeep vlogs or cage vlogs however you want to call them I'll tell you a little bit more about the, uh, the Jeep so like I said it's a 2012 two-door um, the mods I have done to it I have a three-inch lift kit the type of suspension I have I have a uh, Fox 2.0s on here as well as well as a uh, a re what's it called I'm trying to think of the word relocated steering stabilizer with and upgrade to a Fox steering stabilizer as well 35 inch MTRs with Kevlar on 15 inch TKOs poison spider bombshell diff covers that are custom painted. Hopefully you can see in the reflection of the truck in front of me, I have the LED headlights from Truck Light. So a nice $400 pair of headlights. Uh, I'm running full synthetic in the engine and in the differentials. So it makes everything really smooth. It also helps gain back a little bit of power in the engine. So I got a Canon cold air intake. It's a shorty ram in it. I have an AFE uh, catback exhaust, which is a high tug. And like I said, guys, I'll go ahead and do another video shortly when it's probably not snowing outside and do a, uh, a walk around so you can see it, see everything. I have a rock slide engineering rear bumper and tire carrier combo with my third third brake light and license plate relocation into the middle of the uh, what's it called tire which is a full 
full size spare, by the way. I don't skimp that much. I think they're Rockridge LED, Rockridge 4x4 LED taillights. I uh, have a 52 inch Patriot light bar with uh, Moto Bill um, brackets. That's what I'm brackets. I'm trying to say bracket, but I, I don't. Some of these words are not coming to mind for me right now. I have an S pod system. So, an S pod system is sort of like a way to clean up everything clean up wires and whatnot it's inside the engine compartment and there's just a single loom of wires run through the firewall up the a pillar inside all this and hopefully you can see the lights all these lights all these right here so there's there's a bunch it's just rocker switches right here and it, it's a way to tidy everything up and plus what the uh uh, what's it called with the 2012 starting that new campus bullshit uh, it kind of helps out a lot no shorties or anything like that but this little thing is a nice little expensive work here I'll turn I'll turn all those on I won't turn the first one because it's wired to the light bar <coughs> but as you can see it's just, it just tidies everything up the Cobra CB, Cobra 29 XL, or LX. I think it's the L. I think it's LX. I don't have the antenna hooked up, so I can't. So if I push the button, it just says antenna warning. So that's not hooked up. But I mean, I have everything routed for the antenna. It's just it's not on there. The antenna's in the back seat. Well, not back seat, but in the back. I'll show the light real quick. There you go. I don't really have anything else to talk about. That's the update. So I'll leave the camera on right now if there's anything that pops up. But if nothing else comes on after this, you know, stay stay tuned for for all these Jeep vlogs, these cage vlogs. And hopefully sometime during the off season there may be there may be some warm stints where I can actually jump on the bike. So with that guys, I'm going to say peace out.